Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining us in today's Warrior Chat. I'm Wayne McCullough, with me is Mr. Jeff Brown. Uh, Jeff is the Vice President of the Southern York County School District Foundation. Even more than that, many of you know Jeff just from the business they have, uh, the local business, the Keller Brown Insurance business that so many of us uh, work with and uh, you know just have outstanding service that they provide to us every day. Uh, Jeff and obviously his wife Joy and family have been very, very active in our community in a whole variety of ways. Uh, so Jeff, first of all, thanks for being with us. We oh, appreciate it. My pleasure. Uh, today's topic on our Warrior Chat is the Southern York County School District Foundation. Uh, we want to give you some information based on our 2012-2013 fiscal year um, and share information about the foundation. We try to do this each year. Um, and uh, first of all, Jeff, as we share information about the foundation, as we walk through uh, our presentation, I, I know you agree with this. Um, the foundation has grown significantly. Uh, the foundation continues to grow. And it, the thing that amazes me most is we've had growth during a very difficult recessionary right. period. Uh, and I think that speaks so well for the Southern York County School District community. Oh, oh absolutely. I mean, we're, we're very fortunate. Uh, there's just a, uh, a feel of uh, loyalty and camaraderie in this district that uh, it's, it's really not hard to get volunteers sometimes to, to volunteer for or, uh, projects. And I know that uh, somewhat of an infinity with a lot of uh, people who grew up here, uh, I know that Joy and I actually feel more of an allegiance to our high school than we do the colleges that, yeah. that we attended. So for, for yeah. some reason, it's, it's an attraction. Well, I think it's true, and I've, uh, we just chatted a little bit, it's fun to talk. Uh, you know, my mother was either the first or second PTO president at mm -hmm. Friendship Elementary right. School. Uh, so it goes way back in the 50s, and that's, uh, I'm not saying that from my family's point, but what I'm saying is public education has always been important to our community, mm -hmm. uh, number one. And then number two, I think that what also is true is what you said, is people are connected to it, and I think it's just a strong community. And the re you know what happens at the foundation, really there's a group of volunteers, and we'll share our mission, but it really is a group of citizens, volunteers, yes. who work mm -hmm. together to try to lead the foundation. But more importantly, it is, it's the whole community. Okay. Absolutely. Uh, and I think that's the point we want to make. Uh, first of all, just a little bit of background on the foundation. We are a 501c3 charitable organization. And the reason I mention that is likely, almost always, uh, donations that come to the foundation are tax deductible uh, for individuals as well as organizations. Uh, and that's important because uh, certainly we get gifts in a variety of ways, and we'll talk a little bit about that. Probably the signature of the foundation is the scholarship program. Correct. Uh, we'll mm -hmm. give information about that. But uh, there's a variety of different scholarship programs. Uh, first of all, a sponsoring organization. Uh, that could be, for example, the Lions Club, uh, the mm -hmm. Rotary Club, those kind of right. organizations. And it's absolutely amazing the number of organiza organizations that participate uh, in our program. Yeah, both throughout the community and, and throughout the school. Uh, most of the PTOs, uh, the classes, True. the uh, youth sports organizations all uh, sponsor scholarships and, they, and they're all very uh, committed to those scholarships as well. So it's, it's, a, it's a good thing. It's amazing. And I should tell you, the, uh, if you go to the school district's website at www.sycsd.org, there is a pull-down tab for the mm -hmm. foundation. If you click on that, you can get an entire copy of the annual report. You will be amazed at the number of organizations that have annual scholarships mm -hmm. uh, for our children. Uh, we also have name scholarships. Um, uh, could be an organization, could be an individual, but they right. want to name mm -hmm. uh, a scholarship, again, either after their organization or a loved one. Uh, we have quite a few of those. Yeah, uh, uh, students as well as uh, uh, teachers, yeah. uh, you know, who taught here, and uh, uh, a lot of students were very fond of them, and, and sometimes, the, uh, not the family, but the students uh, perhaps organize some of these Absolutely. scholarships for, for, uh, for their teachers. So. Yeah, an example, uh, the Kathy Yetter mm -hmm. scholarship. Uh, Mrs. Yetter, obviously, uh, an orchestra teacher here for many years. Carl Steger, who mm -hmm. was a band director for many years. Uh, so as teachers, the other, another example, and, there, and again, there's many of them, so I hate to, yeah. I hate to name a few without naming them right. all. Yeah. Uh, Robert Williams, 
uh, mm -hmm. is a scholarship that the foundation named last year. Correct. Mm -hmm. uh, Bob Williams was one of the original members of the founding, foundation. Uh, yeah, founding member. Mm -hmm. uh, as well as one of the founding members of the Alumni Association. Mm -hmm. Uh, former president of, at that point, the Glen Rock State Glen Bank. Glen Rock State Bank, right. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's just numerous name scholarships, and uh, what a great way to continue the legacy of the mm -hmm. person uh, that you love or have given so much uh, to us. Right, exactly. Uh, just last night, the Alumni Association, you don't even know this yet, uh, decided to name a, a scholarship in honor of Dick Amsbacher. Really? Uh, uh, very good. I want to say Dick was from the class uh, of 73. 73. Mm -hmm. Very, uh, yeah. That's very, he's very, he'd be very deserving. Yeah, absolutely. Dick yeah. passed away of cancer. Uh, Three years ago, probably. Yeah. One of our top students while at Susquehanna. Great athlete. Great athlete. Great person. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so again, name scholarships is a significant part of our scholarship organization. Memorial scholarships. We have quite a few scholarships that are uh, memorialized in mm -hmm. honor of folks that right. began from their families or mm -hmm. other organizations. Or, yeah, businesses sometimes too with the uh, People's Bank support and some of their past directors. Absolutely. Uh, so we also have general scholarship programs. Uh, we get quite a bit, uh, of, we get quite, uh, quite a large amount of donations that come in unrestricted, unnamed, mm -hmm. just to be part of our scholarship program. Yep. Uh, mm -hmm. And the reason I mention that is there's no gift that's too small. We get checks for $10, $20, $50, $100, whatever, but they all add up and they become part of our general scholarship fund uh, and then it's distributed. And, and it all goes to, to really worthy causes. Yeah. Here, 100% for the students, uh, our, you know, our, our overhead's so small. It's almost that, nothing. Yeah, that it's just... Uh, you get a lot of bang for your buck when you, yeah. su when you support uh, our foundation. Absolutely. We have no employees of the foundation. It's mm -hmm. all volunteer work. Uh, yeah. So you're right. The, the distribution goes right to the students. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have a very active alumni association, the Susquehannock High School Alumni Association. Uh, they sponsor events to continue the, the mission of connecting Susquehannock graduates with still the high school a monthly newsletter. Uh, they were responsible for raising the money for the Susquehannock High School Alumni Fieldhouse. Uh, all done uh, by donation. Absolutely. No, no, no taxpayer money whatsoever, and it's it's a it's a uh, it's it's impressive. I don't know how yeah. else to say it. It's just it really works. <laughs> it does work. Yeah. Uh, we apply for grants. There's various grants we receive from businesses. I know we uh, have received grants for science programs here mm -hmm. in the high school. Uh, even individuals do a gift for a very specific program. Uh, for example, we've had gifts in the past that have been designated to improve security in our buildings, mm -hmm. uh, to do a variety of projects. Uh, and then finally, we have an endowment program. Uh, one of the major endowments from Hester, uh, the Heminger Foundation. Mm -hmm. uh, but we have quite a few endowments. In fact, it just continues to grow. Every year we add to our endowment program. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, and our endowment and net assets you'll see now are approaching seven hundred thousand dollars. Right. Uh, wow. Yeah. And the advantage to those, obviously, is those scholarships or those programs will be given out and continue for perpetuity. Mm -hmm. uh, so, just some of the things about the foundation, and the reason I mention it is we're very unique because of the multifaceted nature of the foundation. Some foundations have a scholarship program. Some foundations do a variety of things, but the Southern York County School District Foundation is unique in its multifaceted nature. Yeah. Good point. Uh, Jeff, I'll let you talk a little bit about this slide, which shows the history of the contributions that come into the foundation. Well, you know, uh, we, as Wayne mentioned earlier, we've uh, uh, gone through some difficult times, and we've still experienced growth during those difficult times. Yeah. Uh, so, for example, we were about 160,000 in uh, contributions back in the, the year of 2009, right after uh, the big kind of crash yeah. and uh, by 2010 we're up to 166,000 continue to grow where uh, today we're approaching uh, 195,000 a year in uh, 2013 so we're very proud of that growth yeah. and it's just uh, and the community that supports us. It is it's incredible support and in fact this year we're projecting that we'll exceed and continue to grow. Uh, this slide shows what we talked about our net assets including our endowment mm -hmm. uh, and again the it's just incredible that that begins to reach six hundred thousand dollars, and in fact has doubled over that same time period. Yeah, that, it is. Uh, it's just amazing. Yep. <clears throat> the 
these scholarships offered, we talk about being a signature part of the foundation. Mm -hmm. uh, you can talk a little bit about that. Well, uh, it's, we feel that uh, public education is very important to uh, a community, and the more better educated people we have, the better community we have. And so uh, we really strive to spread out uh, our scholarships so more students get them. And uh, back in 2009, for example, we had about 109, 110 students getting uh, scholarships, and now we're up to 150 scholarships being offered to students. So it's, uh, it's really nice to be able to uh, uh, encourage and support kids uh, uh, because not all families, you know, may have the wherewithal, but um, yeah. it's a, a little boost, and so we're very proud of that. Absolutely. We, again, we expect to continue that growth uh, this year. The one of the one of the things I think that the foundation does, which is uh, tremendous, is annually we recognize distinguished leaders, uh, people, or organizations mm -hmm. who have just gone above and beyond the call of duty to contribute to the foundation. Uh, I, I just want to share those individuals and groups that recently, uh, this past year, that we've recognized. Uh, the first is Mr. Dale Kagi. Oh, I, I don't know where we'd be without Dale. He. Yeah. We, I don't think we have enough time to talk about all the uh, important things Dale's done for this uh, school district, but uh, he's incredible. He's one of the main reasons we're as, as successful as we are today. And uh, at, when he was the business manager, got us prepared for economic turns. And yeah. you know, this district uh, weathered that storm, I think, very well compared to others. And he's just been a, a, a tremendous asset. We were fortunate to have him. Wasn't Absolutely, uh, Mr. Kagi, as, as Jeff talked about, really, his vision was the framework of the foundation in terms of the multifaceted mm -hmm. nature, which made us very unique and really positioned us for growth because of the multifaceted nature. Uh, the uh, Mr. Dr. Kirk Dice, I should say, a Susquehannock alum. Mm -hmm who annually uh, contributes a significant amount of money to fund scholarships, a uh, very generous graduate. Yeah, and that's uh, unsolicited, I believe. I it mean, is, just, right. He yeah, just does that on his own, so that's, that's absolutely uh, wonderful. Uh, Sobel Markets, uh, Greg Sobel, one of the founding directors, mm -hmm. uh, original directors, I should say, uh, of the foundation, and his contribution has been incredible. Well, uh, I, you know, once again, it's just, uh, uh, I don't know if we have enough time to talk about all the good things that this family's done for this community. Uh, I know, uh, you know, Greg uh, is the one who's responsible for getting me on the foundation board, as well as probably three or four other. True. Uh, he was our main uh, recruiter. Uh, true. <laughs> uh, but they uh, support the community, and not just the foundation, but the, the community in so many ways. Yeah. So, uh, you know, and, and you know, it's we're just fortunate to have them and you know we would encourage the community to support them as well absolutely uh, and then finally we recognize the warrior band boosters uh, the booster clubs was instrumental in endowing a scholarship in honor of Carl Steger mm -hmm. a former band director and they worked single-handedly to, to raise over ten thousand dollars to endow that scholarship uh, uh, very impressive and and uh, once again they take this upon themselves uh, right. to do it to raise the money they do the organization themselves and uh, uh, and they they always have a worthy candidate that they endow absolutely so yep absolutely uh, this 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 is kind of neat. Uh, the Southern York County School District Foundation was recognized by the Pennsylvania Consortium of Education Foundations as one of the seven highly effective foundations in the state of Pennsylvania last year. Uh, uh, that's just uh, to the leadership to you, Wayne, right. and Dale Keggy, uh, right. getting us uh, going in the right direction, and we just have a lot of motivated volunteers on on the board. Uh, but that's quite an honor. I mean, there's a lot of school districts. In Absolutely. The, in yeah, the there's state. over there's 225 yeah. educational foundations, right? So, yeah. Uh, no, thank you. Here, and again, here's what it is. I mean, a lot of us work hard. You're working hard. We're, we got a great group of directors. We'll share. Uh, but again, I, I I think it's a reflection of our community. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it just it is because uh, every year you, you mentioned the 150 scholarships. Almost every one of those just give that scholarship every year mm -hmm. and it just is part of their I, I don't know I, I'm not sure I can even find the word for it but well, it's, it's just what they do it's, it's what they do I guess that's a good way to put it yeah, yeah. no it's what they do it's they mm -hmm. they you know it's our community it, yeah. it is it really is 
uh, and as individuals in our community. Again, as organizations, oh, as it's businesses. A, it's, it's a, it's a uh, an important and worthy way for one to give back. Yeah, so that's a good point. The uh, I do also, this slide, we may have to ask our folks here in the Warrior TV studio to make sure they capture, uh, but I think it is important to mention uh, the leadership and the people who put in their time uh, to serve on the board of directors for the foundation. Uh, Jeff, I'll let you talk about the executive committee, and then I'll just go over well, some of the other know, names. Uh, Glenn's been the uh, the president for I'm not sure how many years, but uh, we all just love serving with Glenn. Right. Uh, not only does he is he committed, uh, but uh, he's he's just reliable. He's there now. He has a he has a pretty crazy schedule at times yeah. uh, with his work, uh, but he's here when he's able, and uh, and he leads by example. Uh, he has a uh, scholarship that yes, his business funds and um, so he's he's a great leader and we have Larry Miller as our treasurer and could we get getting more fortunate <laughs> I than don't that. think so uh, Larry's right. perhaps one of the hardest working most giving individuals I think I've ever known yeah and just to have him with us is is uh, we're fortunate <laughs> absolutely the uh, Jeff didn't mention himself but Jeff here serves as the vice president and the same thing I, I said it earlier but there's not a business or individual oh, or family exactly. that has given more to our community and I, I appreciate that very oh, much. Right. I value Thank that. Uh, and of course, course we have you and Dr. Hensley yeah. and uh, Wayne is the the driving force. You are. You you get things prepared for us and uh, uh, help direct us and uh, we, are, we really really rely on you and Dr. Hensley uh, of course is at He's as supportive, and where will we be without the support Absolutely. of our superintendent? So we're yeah. fortunate. And of course, we had Dale Keggy, which we talked about earlier. Now, yeah. Dale's yep. now retired, but uh, he's certainly left uh, a legacy for us. He has, and we have a very capable person filling in uh, as the new secretary, and Mark Rill, who oh, second that same thing, very yeah. uh, just a hard worker, very organized, capable. capable mm -hmm. Absolutely. So we're very fortunate to move forward. Uh, directors include Bruce Brownman, Sue Barnhart, Jay Good, Don Hedgeland, Jeff Joy, Deb Landon, uh, John Lewis, Rob Lloyd, Greg Sobel, we mentioned, Jackie uh, Summers, Roberta Toman, who recently retired, and we recently added Jerry Caslow mm -hmm. uh, to that list. Our student reps from last year, Allison Fair, who was a junior at the high school, uh, is now a senior. She continues to serve as a student mm -hmm. rep. Isn't she an incredible young yeah, lady? Yeah, she's neat. Yeah. Have uh, the future. And Nathan Coldier, who was last year a senior, who now is in a, in a college student, but... And a pretty good singer, too. <laughs> he was. Nathan would entertain us at meetings That's at times. right. Uh, and now our junior student uh, rep, Anthony Stem. So it's kind of neat that students participate mm -hmm. uh, in the foundation also. Yeah. It is. Good experience for them, actually. It is. And we also have, um, really, the, the folks you talk about driving forces behind the scenes, some people in the school district that we call the Foundation Committee, who just make sure things get done every day that mm -hmm. needs to be done. Uh, Sue Green, Randy Buffington, Mark Rill, and Deborah Baker Kohler. So again, we want to thank those folks from a school district standpoint. Uh, final words, final thoughts. Well, uh, as I mentioned earlier, this is a, uh, a worthy organization uh, for uh, the community support. They have supported it and we hope that they continue to support it uh, because we're going to continue to, to do our good work. Absolutely. If you, have any, uh, if you have any other questions or if you'd like to get involved somehow, uh, either through a scholarship program or just, again, have any interest in helping to serve in any way, please let me know. My email is wayne.mccullough at sycsd.org. Uh, you can call the school district here and ask for me at 717-235-4811. Uh, I do encourage you, again, to go on the school district's website uh, at www.sycsd.org. Go to the foundation link and pull that down and you'll see our annual mm -hmm. reports, uh, lots of other information, our tax filing reports and so forth, information about our scholarship programs and ways that you can be involved. Uh, so if you have any interest at all, please get a hold of us. Uh, we appreciate it very much. Uh, I guess my final word is this, is again, thank you to Jeff for all you do. Pleasure uh, is mine. Uh, appreciate it so, so much. Uh, and also I want to thank our community. Again, uh, one that one that recognizes one of the top seven school district foundations in the state of Pennsylvania. Uh, and you know what, we have excellent people who are working every day to make it work. 
but it really is a reflection of our community. Mm -hmm. uh, and again, I think Jeff, you said it right, uh, our community gets it that public education is important, Absolutely, number one. Yeah. And number two, the, uh, we're about children. You know, it's about the success of our children. And our community has always got that. So I thank you so much for that. So for Mr. Tim Hare, who's the video production teacher here at Susquehanna High School, for Mr. Mark Rill, who's the coordinator of marketing and public information, for Mr. Jeff Brown, uh, I'm Wayne McCullough saying I'll see you later. All right, bye now.